Everybody doing good tonight? Yeah. I'm not. You know why? There's something out there that's bugging me. You know what it is? Reality TV. I hate reality shows. With every fiber of my being, I hate reality shows. I just want this shit to go away. Even when I was a little kid, I just, I saw it on TV and I just go, God, that needs to go away. But my parents watch a lot of them. My grandparents watch a lot of them, so I figured, hey, it must be an adult thing. I thought, you know, maybe there's something I'm missing. I'm young. Nope. I still hate these goddamn shows. And I still don't get why anybody anywhere wants to watch them. I just, I don't understand how nowadays the most vapid, self-absorbed, materialistic, just idiotic people can still get famous for no earthly discernible reason. And that's just the Kardashians. <laughs> hey there, do you want to get famous but you have no discernible talent or personality? Well, don't worry, we have the gig for you, reality TV. All you have to do is sign your life away to us and spend the rest of it on camera screaming at other walking piles of human failure and botched surgery. We'll make you a star, kid. And another one I really don't get is, I don't get these, these uh, competition shows, you know, shit like Survivor. Never got it. I just don't get why, I mean, you see one season of it, you've seen them all, right? Every island looks the same, I don't know what the difference is. You know, I mean, at least vary it up some. Send them to the Arctic. Put them in the middle of the Gobi Desert. Don't give them food. Put, drop them in the middle of the ocean. There's a survival situation. <laughs> you know, my dad watches it a lot. And the other day, uh, it was either like last year or the year before, he was watching it one night, and I come in and I go, you know, those people look kind of familiar. He goes, yeah, they brought old contestants back. <laughs> Let me see if I get this straight. You're watching the same show with the same rules, the same challenges. Every island looks about the same, so might as well be the same island. And now you're watching it with the same people who you've already seen do this before. Do you even know what year it is anymore, man? <laughs> Another one I don't get is I really don't get The Biggest Loser. I just, I just don't see the entertainment value of a bunch of fat people exercising and crying for an hour. <laughs> I do that every Friday. It's not entertaining to me. <laughs> but in all fairness, I thought of it and I said, you know, I think I know how they could level the playing field. This needs a companion show, and I have the perfect idea. Call it the biggest gainer. Now what you do is you get a bunch of bulimics, anorexics, people with eating disorders, and basically you just build a show around them trying to get healthy. Imagine the coaches. Come on, force it down! Is that all you can eat, you little twig? Come on, get fat! Get a healthy bitch! <laughs> For some reason, NBC has not returned my phone calls. <laughs> but I remain confident that they'll get back to me. I, you know, I, just, I just look at all this stuff. Does anybody in here remember when you actually had to, you know, achieve something or have talent to get famous? Anybody remember that? I, I grant you it was before my time, but I've heard of it distantly. Sounds pretty nice. I mean, I just want to know, at what point as a nation did we just decide, you know, screw talent, screw dedication, forget about hard work, who needs all that shit? We'll give any jackass off the street a TV show. Hey, here's this little fat southern girl, we'll give her a TV show. <laughs> all she does is spout catchphrases, but hey, people will laugh, right? Ugh. I don't know, it's just not entertaining, you know? New Andy Brown. That's not to say that scripted stuff is always great. I mean, there's plenty of hacks working in scripted TV. I mean, shit, look at Chuck Lorre. You don't know who he is? Big Bang Theory, Two and a Half Men. Need I say more? I don't know, I just, more and more I watch this stuff and I just think, you know, maybe I should just get rid of the TV. But again, I'm not paying the cable bill. <laughs> or the electricity bill. <laughs> Or the water bill. <laughs> or for gas for my car. <laughs> or for these clothes. <laughs> or for food. <laughs> so really, maybe I'm complaining about nothing. By the way, you like that? Make sure you had to do it sometime. Anyway. I want to thank you all very much. I'm Thomas Marshall. I sincerely apologize. <laughs> Oh.
Marshall, everybody. Woo!